an otter. I have a lot of ideas. Most of them are pretty bad, so I'm doing a year of bad video game ideas. And this is episode two. The game this week is Snoopervisor. Here's your back of the box summary. As a recently adopted German Shepherd rescue, you're enjoying the good life with a loving family for the very first time. You now have two objectives, keep your family safe and be a good boy. Unfortunately, your humans, like most humans, are unaware of the dangers around them. The assassin posing as a delivery person, the cat next door who's possessed by a demon, the homicidal neighborhood squirrels. You need to keep your family safe without getting sent to your crate. Master the art of strategic borking, well-timed paw baps, and other doggy defenses to keep enemies at bay. Do you have what it takes to be a snoopervisor? So the way I came up with this game concept is that I have a German Shepherd. He's a German Shepherd mix, as you can probably tell, and he's the absolute light of my life. He's adorable and sweet and the most loyal pup you could ever imagine. But the thing about German Shepherds is they're also very bossy and they want to know what's going on with everyone all the time. You can see him looking out the window here, being the neighborhood watch. So German Shepherds really do have this personality where they have to be in charge, they want to make sure everyone is following the rules, um, and if there's, there's like a certain line in front of our house in his head, and if you cross that line then you become a threat and you need to be borked at immediately. So that sort of inspired me to think about what does his world look like? How does he think about the world? And what is he seeing that I'm missing? And what if these threats really are real? So in Supervisor, you would play as a German Shepherd. You're a very good boy and you've just been adopted finally from the Humane Society by a wonderful family and you're living this good life. And obviously you want to make sure that your family stays safe and that you are protecting them because that's your role as a German Shepherd. Um, but you also want to be a good boy because, again, you want the pets, you want the cuddles, you don't want to get sent to prison or your crate. So there's all these threats in your world, right? There's delivery people, there's vacuum cleaners, there's squirrels, there's cats, and your humans see them as just normal everyday occurrences that are not threatening and they think you're ridiculous. But you, as a doggo, have sort of this true sight where you can see that these things are actually threats, right? So the delivery man has a knife and he's actually an assassin sent to kill your owners. The cat next door is actually possessed by an evil demon that wants to hurt your family. The squirrels are just straight villains and they have rigged the vacuum cleaner to explode. So all of these things that our dogs <laughs> sort of try to tell us are threats and we don't believe them are actually threats in this game and the dog needs to find a way to mitigate these concerns while not alerting his owners, essentially. So as the German Shepherd, you would have some special abilities um, that all German Shepherds, at least all the ones that I know, have. These are Bork, um, barking. Obviously, German Shepherds, if you've heard them, have a very, very loud, very authoritative bark. My dog, even though he's only 60 pounds, sounds like he's 200 pounds when he's in a full, full Bork, so that would obviously be one. Bapping is another. If you've never had a German Shepherd punch you in the face, it happens to me at least twice a week, just those paws bap constantly. Um, he smushes bugs with his paws, he knocks stuff out of people's hands, it's just another tool at their disposal. Tug, um, grabbing stuff with your teeth and pulling it. Pretty simple, but he it's entertaining, it's fun, but also can have some purpose. And then digging holes, burying stuff, that's something all dogs are capable of doing, so again, another ability if you needed to hide something or wanted to keep something away from your humans for some reason. But in addition to scaring away these threats with these abilities, you also need to be able to maintain being a good boy. So if you bark too much or if you do too many mischievous things, then your humans are going to put you in prison for borking um, or for mischievousness, which is obviously just in your crate. They're not actually going to send you to puppy dog jail. It's not a real thing. Um, so to really make sure you're balancing those needs, you have to be slightly strategic in when you're barking, how much you're barking, timing that appropriately so that you're maximizing the impact of scaring those enemies away while getting that benefit of protecting your family, um, but not necessarily just barking continually because that'll set off the work meter and, and you'll fail the level. Mischief is a little bit different. It's less about volume, how often you're doing something, and more about getting caught. 
So let's say, for example, it's the vacuum cleaner level. You have to make sure that your owners don't use the vacuum to the extent that it sets off the explosives that the squirrels set. So what you do is you start pulling the plug out of the wall when the human isn't looking. If they catch you doing that too many times, then eventually you're going to go to prison for borking or for prison for that mischief meter. Um, so just another fun little element to balance those stealth elements, not getting caught while you're still having, um, protecting your humans from whatever the threat may be. So at the end of the day, you will be a very good boy if you're able to accomplish keeping your family safe while remaining that good boy status and not feeling the level by being sent to your crate. Um, just a fun little idea based on having a German Shepherd in my life. They're great dogs, and if you have the opportunity to rescue one and you can give it a good home, then I absolutely highly recommend it. Um, ours has brought so much joy and happiness into our life, so all good things. They're all good dogs, and thank you for listening to this little idea. Hey, it's me, Cabinet Otter. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, or come hang out with me live on Twitch. See you soon!